what's the crack lads welcome back it is just a what's coming thursday video a quick wednesday preview of what will be new tomorrow and we're going to go straight into it so a few people have asked me about the new update that's going to be coming on july the 4th right so as you can see here we've got a ton of stuff in our inbox don't forget to claim any of that and also with the match pass here that you see that is going to be ongoing until next week the 11th of the 7th right now this is where it kind of i think that konami i've said this before right i think with the new update that they're doing and eFootball 2025 it seems to be that they've kind of like changed the rate of when they're actually updating stuff because you can see here that the phase will be ending tomorrow so there's going to be a brand new phase starting tomorrow on the 4th of july and that means that you're going to be getting all your rewards so for people that have been asking about the badges right if you are in division one you will be getting your badges because the phase is going to be reset these badges are over here and obviously they are the new kind of uh, system with the tiers right so this stuff here that you have is going to be the badge stuff here and these are going to be unlocked after the phase ends so as you see here with my eFootball league reach division three in eFootball league and also you can get a second badge for reaching division two division one grade four grade five and grade six are for the top 1000 so if you're a top 1000 in the world at the moment you will get the badge if you're top 100 you'll get this badge and so on that is going to be tomorrow on the fourth but the match pass is not reset so it seems like that they've kind of yeah, they've kind of shifted a little bit, I think, and that's probably in anticipation for the next big update, which will bring us into eFootball 2025, right? That goes the same then as well, that they've kind of been a little bit all over the place with where they've released these. So for example, you've got two showtimes here. One is ending tomorrow. The other is ending, obviously, next Monday, okay? So that's going to be another thing to look at. You also have the player of the week's ending, this player of the season ending, and then these are extended. These are all extended here with this nominating contract pack, which were originally down for to be ending this week, I think, or next week, they're actually going to be another seven days as well. So yeah, it depends. It depends on um, what they release over the next couple of months, I think, um, especially with eFootball 2025. But yeah, that brings it on to, we always know that we get player of the week. I mean, they are always what comes on a Thursday and they have since launch. And Konami usually tweet out and they've done the same here. So it looks like Jude Bellingham is going to be getting a new booster. This will probably be a fairly decent booster, lads. I think that this will probably be one of the best versions of Bellingham. He'll probably have a lot, you know, he'll have acrobatic finishing. There'll probably be a lot of levels with him as well, or not a lot of levels, a lot of skills and a lot of stats that will hit into, like, very usable with the manager boost. Um, and obviously, it doesn't take long for people to put in the render, and that looks like it's going to be it's going to be Jude Bellingham with that goal, um, which was a fantastic goal, of course, as well. Um, but, you know, even though... Uh, even though Bellingham's had a couple of versions of cards before, it, I do think that this one will be quite interesting. So, yeah, if you've got any of the freebies or if you've got any of the player of the week still left to go, we have two here that we have left. That was obviously from the free spins, and we spun another two as well. We did get Kevin De Bruyne. We get Hamid Rod Hamas Rodriguez here as well, which is a nice pull. But this is your last chance at getting these and clearing the events, right? So you can clear all these. You can get all the players that you see there. We got Kevin De Bruyne already. So that's actually not a bad uh, return from these. And of course, we get our Raujo there as well. But Bellingham is going to be there, probably going to be the pick tomorrow because he's definitely going to have a booster. So yeah, that is probably one thing that you will uh, be looking forward to, I suppose, if you're still looking forward to the player of the weeks. I mean, me personally... I'm a little bit down on the player of the weeks, but this is from Club E Football over on Twitter. He has done a mock-up of players that could potentially come, and it seems to be another European slash Copa America pack. Uh, so you've got Diogo Costa. I think he's definitely going to be a shoe in You've got Latauro Martinez, Nico Williams, Sanchez. Uh, you've got Vargas, Bellingham, Musiala. You've got a couple in there as well. Another Vinny card. Um, you know, there's a lot of a lot of nice cards in here. Valverde is there. Macautas is there as well from Georgia. There's a lot of nice players in here um, that I think could come. It depends. Obviously, these are predictions. I would go along with most of these. I think Bellingham is definitely going to come. I think if I had to bet on it, I would say Bellingham, Vinny Jr., Rodri, and Costa are probably certs. Um, usually, you know, they'll 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 give out like really good players. Um, Costa is definitely going to be one. I think that comes, and I think he could be an interesting goalkeeper because he he should be fairly high. I mean, he should have 95, 96 of a rating. Um, but yeah, I definitely think that they need to redo the, you know, the player of the weeks. So I've spoken about this before. The boosters are definitely where they wanted to go with it, but I definitely think that they need to be even more unique to make them worthwhile. And then also, of course, as well as all that, lads, we do have, as usual, the new events. So these events are always, um, refreshed. You know, if you guys have just been playing the game for not that long, you will see here that any chance you get to spin for a player of the week, you will be able to do that 
we've them all cleared here um, but also beat the clock which is one of the best ways to beat match pass and clear match pass quite effectively um, you can do that and clear the whole match pass in like an hour in 60 minutes so um, co-op will also be going there as well um, but the other co-op will come back so yeah look it depends I think that they have kind of a schedule of release now but it just depends on whether or not they can you know revitalize that for eFootball 2025 but let me know what you guys think that is just a quick video on what's coming Thursday I will talk to you in a little bit don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe and I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.